Hello and welcome everyone to Last Level Press. I am Mr. Black and this is Let's Play Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. I have saved you guys a little bit of the sprint back toward the Stalker camp here. And as you can see, it has gotten well and truly dark. The Stalker Complete Night is extremely dark. So I'm going to turn in my last little uh, quest with Sid here for the Perfected Pistol. And we will be on our way back north, toward the Dark Valley. Let's try not to bash myself in the face with the door this time. Hello, Sid. Can I can I talk to you? There we are. All right. I'm here for the job. Job's done. Two thousand rubles. See you later. All right. Now then, let's go see if Nimble will finally wake the hell up before I go, or if he's going to continue being a narcoleptic bastard. Nimble. Nimble. Oh, great. It says he's still in his freaking house. My god. I hate you. I hate you so much. I hate you so much, Nimble. I really do. Alright. Now, because it is so dark, I'm really beginning to suspect that very little has functionally changed with the Stoker Complete Night. It is only very, very environmentally difficult, as well it should be, because it's night. You have very limited visibility, and I debated before I really got started with this episode as to whether or not, for sheer entertainment value, I could try, or whether I should try to push toward Dark Valley at night, uh, or whether I should finally test out the sleep mechanic and see how that works. And I've decided to try and sleep, because I don't really think it would be all that entertaining for you guys to, in like, slender fashion, only be able to see, for what amounts to probably an entire episode's worth of content, a narrow little flashlight cone worth of gameplay. So, let's see how sleeping works out. We're going to head underground, where it is safe, into the basement. Yeah, it's already cozy. Lots of other bed rolls. Alright, I like this arrangement. I will not steal your bread and energy drink. Alright, so how does this work again? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. There's my sleeping bag. Be sure to eat before you sleep, and to make sure you find a safe place. Well, this is about as safe as it gets. So let's have a tourist's delight. That's a nice filling dinner. And what did it say? Double click. And a pop-up. Where's pop-up? There's pop-up. Uh, let's get... It's 21.15. We'll go for a full sleeping nine hours. And hopefully wake up nice and rested. Why do I hear heartbeat? Uh... What does that mean? Okay, alright. That's cool. Says I'm mildly hungry. I'll have a little bit of bread. Okie dokie then. So now, maybe now that it's morning, Nimble will have finally woken the hell up. Oh no. No, no, no. It says he is still in his damn house on his damn bed. I hate you, Nimble. I, I do. I despise you. I despise all that you love. I'm keeping your coat. Screw you. Alright, it does say, however, that there is another stash here. So I'm gonna snag that before I leave. Because I don't really plan on coming back here. Let's see. Here we are. Uh, let's just take it all. Medical supplies, ammunition. So I'm gonna stash the ammo here in the box, because I don't really need it. But, just in case I come back, I don't want to sell it. I don't really plan on coming back, but... Good to plan ahead. I don't need that many pistol rounds. And... I actually don't need that much vodka. Because all vodka is good for is getting rid of radiation. Because... In Stoker, vodka eliminates all radiation poisoning. It is good that way. Oh well, yes. These are things that society does not want you to know. Alright, I'm still at 47 pounds, that's pretty heavy, but I can move out with that. Funny little factoid though, something that I learned. As some of you guys may know, I fancy myself a fiction writer. And uh, it's amazing the things that you learn when you do research for science fiction or post-apocalyptic stories so that you can get your facts straight. Something I learned um, I forget exactly what it was, I think it was for writing a uh, post-nuclear war sort of story, is that 
there is a couple of proven studies that, ooh, cool, I actually got a stash from him, that uh, actually make a very strong case for red wine being good for not curing radiation poisoning, but for staving it off, for being a good preventative measure if you uh, live or work in a... Uh, that dog just exploded. <laughs> in a potentially irradiated area. And, uh, like I said, it, it won't get rid of any radiation poisoning uh, or sickness that you may already have, but it's an interesting thing to note that I think there's something about the molecules in a particular type of red wine that leaches the radiation out of your system, and then as the wine leaves your system, it takes the radiation with it. Which is pretty cool. Alright, I just noticed there are soldiers at the barricade again. And they seem a lot less forgiving than the ones that I said hello to last night. I hear gunshots in the distance. I think... Why is there gunfire behind me? Okay, that, I think it's, that's taking place at the warehouse. Oh, yeah. That guy, he does not look like a rookie. I think, I, I may have been mistaken in my calling the guys, oh, yeah, that were there before Spetsnaz. Because I don't think they were. I think these guys are legit Spetsnaz. The other guys were just military. If you guys don't know, Spetsnaz are Russian Special Forces. So therefore, they'll be a little bit less hospitable in a gunfight. But, if I'm not mistaken, that's an AN-94 Abakan. One of my favorite rifles in the world. I want your rifle, sir. Hmm. Nothing like a good gunfight to get the blood going in the morning. I love the smell of gunpowder in the morning. It smells like victory! Alright. Well, they know I'm here now. Oh, oh, yep, yep, he's using more military tactics. He is pushing forward. He is taking ground. He's trying to take names. But he will not have mine. Serial number. I don't know. Therefore, you can't even have that. Alright, you know what, guys? We're gonna play a nice, rousing game of catch. Your turn. I think I got one of them. Take cover behind the tree! Protect me, Arbor! Where are you? There you are. Got him in the leg! Got him in the other leg! Come on, man. Come on. Come on. And yes, if any of you guys are wondering, I could have just gone around to my little sneaky passage like I usually do. But I just felt like getting into a gunfight. And I really want that Abacon. I really, really do. And it was, in fact, this game, years ago... Dude, I just shot you in the head and your head just snaps back! I guess he's got a really, really good ballistic helmet. Anyway, it was, in fact, this game that... first kindled my... Whoa! He just pitched a grenade! They used their turn. Anyway, it was in fact this game years ago that first kindled my interest in the AN-94, and actually in most Russian firearms to begin with. Come on. Come on. There we are. There's more of you guys than I thought there were. I hope you don't just infinitely respawn. That would definitely be unfortunate. But I don't think you do. Come on. Come on. He's got really good armor. Ah! Drop, damn you! Good lord! Alright. One left. Oh, there you are. Come on! Good lord, where can I get some of your armor? Is he down? I think he's down. Are you dead dead or are you just injured? Okay, he's dead. Very good! Alright! Great way to start the episode! There's the Abacan. <laughs> I'm having that. Uh, I'll take your dinner as well. What was your name? Lieutenant Sinitsian, veteran of the military. Alright. Okay. Is that the same thing? I think it is. Yep, okay. 
Actually, I'm just gonna take several Lavacons and see which one is in the best shape. I'll take your dinner as well. Yeah, these guys have gotta be Spetsnaz, because they're rolling out with much better equipment than the others. Sergeant Prokopenko! <laughs> I like that name. Prokopenko. That's just fun to say. Actually, a lot of Russian names are fun to say. Okay, alright. Let's see which one of these Abacons is better. I only got two. And this one is better. Very good. So we'll equip that one. We will unload this one. And unfortunately, we'll have to drop it and leave it behind. Sad as that is. Very good. Now, got myself a really proper, reliable assault rifle. I like this. Now, if I recall correctly, that checkpoint will essentially respawn after a couple of in-game days have gone by. And at that point, I won't really have any cause to uh, blast my way through them like I did just now. But, for the sake of getting my hands on an Abacan, worth it. Totally worth it. I'm a terrible person. I just justified mass murder for the sake of getting a fancy gun. I'm a terrible, terrible human being. But you know what? I'm okay with this. Because I love my gun. This is my rifle. This is my gun. This is for killing. This is for fun. I'm sorry. I, I had a moment there. You guys, you guys forgive me, right? Like, comment, and subscribe if you forgive me. There, this video is not going to get any likes. Nope. Nope. Nope, just shot a dog. Not gonna get any likes. This is gonna be even more dislikes than my Dota 2 review. I really doubt that. I, people hate that video. And you know what, to be honest, I do too. It was incredibly amateurish when I made that. So I'm, I'm actually looking forward to kind of clearing the air with my Dota 2 revisited video that's been in the works for a while. But that's entirely irrelevant to what's going on here. Uh, guys, are you, are you my friends or not? Oh, those dogs are definitely not my friends, though. Alright, you guys are friendly. That's good. Where are all these dogs coming from? Why are dogs coming from inside the building? They make a nest in there? Come on. Down. Down, doggy. Stay. Alright. Ooh, it says there's another stash over here. That's cool. Where is it? Oh, I bet it's up in the tower. Alrighty. Stash. Where is the stash? Ooh, box. Yes. Uh, stone blood. Yay, I'll take that. I do believe I shall sell that to one of these fine gentlemen here. Which one of you looks like you've got the most money? The man in the stalker suit. You, dude, dude. Hey, Sanyok. Mr. Accountant. You only want to talk? Okay, so. Be careful when you get past the bridge. Got it? Dude, we're past the bridge. There are packs of wandering dogs there. Are there really? <laughs> if you don't pay attention, they'll tear your ass apart in no time. Yeah, okay. Let's see, what can I sell you? Can I have my stone blood? I'm not selling you my AK. That, I may have replaced it, but it's still unique, and the completionist in me will not allow me to sell unique weapons in any game. Uh, fine, I'll sell you some shotgun ammo. I don't need that much, and I don't want to be quite so heavy. Um, I guess, because I do have some special ammo, I'll sell you some of my 9 mil. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Thank you, accountant. All right, on to the garbage. All right, we are back to the garbage. And finally, I can make a bit of appreciable progress. Ooh, dogs, okay. I'm not gonna waste Abacon rounds on dogs. So now I can finally head toward the Dark Valley. I don't believe in this episode I will raid Lab X18, or whichever number that lab is. I think it's 18. Yeah, yeah, that doggy. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, that. I will old lay old yes, old leller. God damn it. Even my threats. I just, I can't. I can't. I just No, 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 no. 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 Fuck you, anomaly. No. God, I hate those. And oh. What the hell was up with the grass just now? Tell me you guys saw that! That was some horror movie shit. Okay. Alright, we're good. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, anyway. So, the raid on the lab obviously is a story mission. It's gonna be quite involved, and I want to keep something like that confined to a single episode, so I'm not gonna start that and then um, 
cut it off midway through. Oh, okay, cool. There's a stash and another stalker cross. I really like these. They're just such a nice touch. All right, very good. Belongings of the murdered one. Oh, well, now I kind of feel bad for taking it. Oh, well, you don't need it where you're going. But I need it while, where I am. Okay, all right. God, I hate this area. There's so many anomalies. But it's the quickest shortcut to the Dark Valley. But anyway, there are a few other things I can do in Dark Valley that do not involve the campaign mission. Uh, sprint through radiation! Alright. So, I just have to remember how exactly to get there. I know it's somewhere here on the eastern side of the garbage. There's another giant pack of dogs. I seem to remember there being something interesting down here the last time I played. I don't remember. I've just got these weird little flashes. Yes, I do! Wow! Nobody's backpack. Someone's backpack is lying around in the valley with anomalies all around. How could you get to it? Ugh. Why does that sound like great episode material? Why? Ugh. Alright. Alright. It says there's an enemy. I see you. I see you down there. Oh, hang on, his name actually showed up there for a second. Leonia Shipboy. He's a bandit. Alright, let's see if I can pop him. Get him this far away. Bah! Ho 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 ho, like a boss. Oh, he's got a friend. Leonla? Or whatever the... No. Oh, he like disappeared, where'd he go? I know you're down there. Ah, there's your head. Bop! Oh, I missed. Ah, I've got just enough of a spread on this Abacon. That oh god! No, 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 no! I don't want to play catch, sir! Oh crap, I just used a med kit when I meant to hit bandage. You son of a bitch! Alright, you want to play catch so bad, let's play. Oh, you son of a bitch! You ran! Come on. Come on. I didn't mean to select my pistol, but <laughs> got him anyway. I hope you fall into an anomaly. Hope you explode. Alright, I assume these guys were probably trying to get to the same stash that I was. Is it? Okay, it's just a light spot on the hill. Okie dokie then. You are Leon Lia. I For some reason I cannot pronounce his name. Oh cool, and I got another stash location from him. Just from the helicopter. Alright. There's, there's an anomaly over there. Or no, that's an artifact. Not a I keep mixing up those words. Okay. Let us focus a little bit. And not... What is that? Ooh, I think that's what I'm here for. That looks like a green backpack. Alright, it's quite irradiated. But so far, so good. In the... Yeah, yeah, another stash location. Alright. Alright, so far, so good in the not falling into anomalies. Ooh, my beeper's going off. Uh, leather jacket, cool, I can sell that. And some slugs. Cool! Alright! I think it's time to go! And as you guys may have just noticed... No! No, no, no! Okay. I think I was about to fall into one. <laughs> yeah, you can see the uh, radiation symbol popping up over there on the right. And it disappeared automatically because uh, in one of the scenes that I cut earlier, as I'm trying to edit, edit some of these episodes down uh, to be a little bit more concise... Um, I've kind of rearranged the way that my uh, artifact equipment is working now. So I've got my meat chunk on to give me plus 400% health, which is going a long way in my survivability. Um, I've got the flash on, which gives me plus 73 endurance, although I do take a little bit more damage from shocking. And I've also got fireball now on permanently to just constantly, passively... Um, ameliorate some of my radiation. And while it does take off a little bit of my endurance, I've got endurance to spare because of my flash, so... Um, I really like this arrangement. This is what the mid to late game anomalies are really great for in that you can start stacking and layering and combining them in such a way that you can offset the uh, disadvantages of a lot of anomalies quite nicely. Or not anomalies, uh, artifacts. Um, I keep doing that! Uh, by using the effects of others to get essentially the best of all worlds. Alright, I'm going to try to go... And the edges of the dog pack. Come on. Be, 
No, 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 no. <laughs> no. No. Why does the grass always freak out like that after one of those goes off? It's so freaky. Ugh. Oh, those things make my skin crawl. I hate them so much. <laughs> no, god damn it! Why? No, 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 no. No, bad doggy. Sit. Nope, nope, fine. You don't want to sit? Then lay. Oh, crap, you're bad dogs. You don't want to do anything I tell you to do. Come on. Yeah. Okay, is it just. Am I just a terrible shot today, or are they getting tougher? I really don't know. Alright. Because a lot of these dogs are taking two shots to bring down now. Oh no! I am so sorry, puppy! Oh, he didn't even go into chunks. He just disintegrated. Okay. Alright, if any of you guys ever wondered what the hell those things do, there you go! <laughs> <laughs> now you can see. What the? Ooh, hello. I almost ran past you. I see somebody down there. I see. Those are bandits. Should I fight them? No, no, no. I've gotten into enough. No, god damn it! No, no. Ooh. I'm getting good at that. I'm getting good at that out of necessity. Because I'm too impatient for the zone. I, I like to sprint everywhere. Skyrim has spoiled me and my ability to just sprint everywhere. But that's a dangerous, dangerous habit to get in. In the zone. Because anomalies will punish you for your lack of patience. Alright. Over this hill is the loading screen to get toward Dark Valley. So I will see you on the other side. Welcome to the Dark Valley. Not particularly dark. I think it's just an affectation. Like the Black Forest. Not particularly black. What the? Okay. Okay. Hey man, come up here. Yo. Help us grab our friend from these bastards. Follow me. I know a good place for an ambush. I'll thank you for your help. Will you now? Duty, we always pay our debts. Very good. You are lucky, for he has spared you and I respect him and his. You may live for now. Alright. What is going on? Um, Mr. Local. Ooh, cool. He gave me a stash location. Hang on, dude. I'll catch up to you here in a minute. I'm just looting the guys that you presumably killed. Alright, there we are. So this is Bullet. He is a man of duty. I like the duty members. It seems like duty isn't very popular in the stalker fan base. I kind of like them. Maybe it's because I come from a family of law enforcement, so I kind of like their ideals, but... Ooh, watch your step, dude. Watch your step. I know what those little vapor things mean. Alright, very good. He's not... Oh, there's a stash in the middle of all that. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to get that. I'm gonna have to get that, because you guys would want me to. You guys would want me to. Alright, I'm, I'm starting to remember now why this place is called Dark Valley, because it's... A little... Creepy. Hey, hey, no freezing. I don't want it to be dark for that reason. Alright. I think I'm gonna need something a little bit better than just a shotgun. What just happened? Oh, okay. Kill the bandits and rescue the duty member. Yes, sir. Hide on the other side of the road. Yes, sir. I'll be here soon. Open fire only after I do. 10-4. You got it. Ooh, there's an artifact. I'll have to get that. Alright, let's see here. Ah, there they are on the radar. I can see them coming. I have to know, sir. How did you know about this? Where is your intel? In the conflict between the faction duty and the freedom faction becomes a lot more narrative-centric a bit later on in the game. For now... He's, like, kicking the artifact down the road. <laughs> Alright, so that's the guy I'm here to save. Oh, I'm getting hungry! Be still, my rumbly tummy. Don't give away my position. Alright. 
bandits should be right behind him. There they are. Wait for the signal. Can can I shoot now? Please. Bingo. Bingo. All right. Hang on, guys. I'm going to eat some sausage. Actually, I don't think I have any. Never mind. I'll eat some bread. I'm good. He's the one who helped me. Thanks, bro. Come over. We'll talk. All right, then. What are we going to talk about? Thanks. You got my partner out of there. Here, take this. It's from the bottom of my heart. I think you mean your wallet. 1300 rubles and the PSO1 scope. All right, scope. Very good. Now I can attach that to my Abacan and I'll be in serious business. I guess the two of you must know this area well. What's interesting here? Uh, to the north, there's the bandit camp. To the east, an old factory. To the southwest, a deserted pig farm and some kind of gate beyond it. I can't say what's there. Never been that far. Uh, will you tell me more about what's going on at the bandit camp? Hmm, what about it? They settled in an unfinished building straight north of here. Their leader is Borov. A real animal, that bastard. That's why they sent us here, to finish him off. What's happening at the factory? We managed to find out that there is some kind of vault there. Vault? <laughs> Cro Fallout crossovers! Only it's guarded like friggin' Fort Knox. What kind of vault? Is it a vault tech vault? What's inside it? I don't know, but we're trying to get inside. The only thing I know is that Borov has one of one half of the key to its entrance. Oh, okay, right. So that's the uh, the lab that the barkeep sent me to. A uh, real pig farm with actual pigs. Drooling for some pork chops already, huh? Well, the zone is full of boars. Take a bite of one of those and you won't need a flashlight when you go to use the can at night. That's how bad you'll be glowing in the dark. Thank you for explaining the joke, dude. You know that's how it kills jokes, right? Okay, okay, just kidding. The farm has long been abandoned and is now home to some stalkers. They didn't make a good impression on me, though, and I usually trust my gut feeling. I'll have to go say hello to them, then. What's this gate you were talking about? I can't figure it out. It's just an old gate. Except it's locked and well guarded. We haven't set foot in there. It's a gate, dude. How hard is that to figure out? Uh, let's see. I do believe I will buy up your... Wow, you want 600 for a grenade? Never mind. I'm not buying that. I will take your bandages, though. Can I sell you anything? You can have my extra meat junk. My droplet. My... What was that called? Gravy. And my stone blood. Oh, wow. Never mind. He does not have nearly enough rubles to buy all my stuff. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, maybe your buddy does. Hey, buddy. Did the bandits rob you of all of your money? Bandits! Vaska SWAT officer. Those sons of bitches were taking me to the old factory. I don't know what they were planning to do with me there. They were planning to do that. I saw them take another guy there, and before the, the before I can speak, I promise... And I never saw him after that. They've got another one of ours, Serega. They keep him in the basement, in that big unfinished building there. Help him, would you? Otherwise, they'll, uh, you know, do that. Uh, do you know what they've got there at the factory? I haven't heard much. All I know is that their boss, Borov, has parked the key to the underground there. There used to be a lab or something. I did hear that Borov has been eager to get inside, but can't without the second half of the key. Um, if you're thinking of trying to get inside, think twice before you do. It's full of bandits. Well, I figured that. Gotcha, thanks. I'll keep it in mind. I'll try to help your man, why not? Thanks for the help. Do you have any money? Oh yes, he does! Alright, I'll take your bandages. And I'll sell you my leather jacket, which I really don't need. And I'll sell you my gravy. And my extra stone blood. And... Alright. Trade. Let us go. Before I set out, let me see... If I recall how to attach a scope. Widely used Soviet scope. The scope can be mounted on the weapon using the dovetail mount used by the Warsaw Pact countries. Do I just double click it or do I drag it? Drag it? Yay, drag it! Alright, very good. Ooh. Oh, that makes me happy. That makes me happy. I like this. Thank you, sir. Some of the best loot I've gotten thus far. Alright. Ooh, hello. He's got a Walther P99. You know what? I'm, uh,. I'm going to be kind of a douche about this, and I'm going to pick up these weapons, and I'm going to sell them to you. <laughs> uh, which one of these is in better shape? I'll keep the one that's in better shape. Alright, you can have that one, and the AK. Alright, not like you couldn't have just picked them up off the ground yourself, but, uh, oh well. Game logic. Game logic. 
Let's see. Do I head up toward the bandits? Or head south? I think I will head south. Because it sounds as though I will need to make a raid on Borov's place. To get my hands on the key so that I can hit the lab. And that may well itself merit a full episode on its own. So let's go and say hi to the creepy guys at the pig farm. If I'm not mistaken... Ooh. Oh god, you're ugly. Speaking of the pigs... Ugh. If I'm not mistaken, I think that scope has night vision to it. Everything's got a green tint. I don't know, I guess we'll see if I get into dark conditions whether or not I can actually see through it. That would actually be really cool. It'd make for a nice creepy way to go about some of the underground segments of the game where you've just got your narrow cone of flashlight and a night vision scope to try and navigate by. That'd make for a really creepy experience. I kind of hope that's the case now. <laughs> Alright, welcome to the pig farm. If my game will ever stop freezing. Alright. I don't actually remember what was up with these guys. I do remember getting into a firefight here. I just don't remember why. Alright. They're not gonna shoot me on sight, apparently. I do wish my scope had a little bit more zoom to it. I'm trying to use the scrolly wheel to zoom in a little more, but it's not working. So for now, it's just functioning like a reflex site, but that's okay. It does say there's a stash over here, so I'm going to get that before I talk to these guys. Stash, stash. <laughs> They're, like, going to watch me loot their stuff. And, yay! Medical supplies! I'll take it. Secret stash in the pipe. I don't know. I trust the duty guys, which means I don't trust you. Yashka Nev. Alright, alright, I'll put my gun away. Hey, hey, get your damn gun out of my face, or you're going to have bullets in yours. Hey, you want an awesome gun? I found a little something near Yantar. A stash, I guess. There was this ghost rifle, among other things. I'm telling you, man, this thing fucking rocks. Anything within 100 meters of it is as good as dead. You can have it for just 800. Uh, I don't believe you. Should I try it? Should I? I've got a lot of money. Ah, why not? Why not? Here's the money. Excellent. Wait here. I'll go get it. Waiting. Waiting. Uh, go. Thank you. Get my rifle back out. Piss off while you're still alive! Oh, you piss off, sir! Listen to me carefully, sucker. Have you heard the story of Robin Hood? Hmm. Well, your money went to feed the poor. Forget about it. Try sticking your nose here again, and you'll be crawling back to your mommy. So that's how it is, huh? That's how it is. Alright then. They don't know who they're messing with. You're not just messing with the Mark one. What was that? Oh, that was thunder for a second. I thought that was an explosion. <laughs> Alright, back to stalker mode. You're not just messing with the Mark one. You are messing with Mr. Black. With Mr. Black does not take kindly to being cheated. The punk buster has nothing upon Mr. Black. Oh no, I do not just prevent cheaters. I annihilate them! That they might never trouble others again. Truly, I am a man of peace. Truly, I am. You, you don't realize this. If violence is not solving your problems, what do I always say? You're not applying enough violence! Oh my god! He's Superman! What are you, a Brazilian soccer player? Oh, that hurt! Oh wait, I'm fine. Oh god, someone's looking at me. I should fall over and act hurt now. Come on. Come on. Don't think I will not annihilate all of you. Oh, misfire! Oh damn it! Abakan, why do you betray me? Come on. Come on. Come on. Poke your head around the corner. Do it. Do it. Do it. Poke that head around. Do it. Come on. What the? You're yellow on my radar, and you're aiming your weapon at them! You're on my side! Good! We will have a small people's revolution. Okay, I'm shooting these guys in the head, and they're not going down. Alright, so apparently this is a camp of Saiyans. Noted. Am I? Ooh! He's got a nice weapon. 
Right. Let's try the armor-piercing rounds, shall we? Down you go. Have a nice nap. Down you go. Whoa! Still getting shot at! How many of you chumps are there? Ganato? I know what that means. I don't speak a whole lot, but... I speak enough of whatever the hell language they're speaking to know what Granato means. It's Russia Ukrainian for run the fuck away. Alright, where'd you go? I know you're not dead. Where are you? This is actually really good rain. This is better than what it was before. There must be multiple different types of rain now. Aha! Found you! Ooh. Trixie little bastard, aren't you? Stalker mode. Engage. I will pursue you. Fast. Fast like bullet. Hello. Alright. I do believe. That is everyone. That went well. Let's see. Have you got anything? Yash up on the doll. I gotta find the body of the jackass that stole from me. And go and pay him a little visit. Because really, corpse desecration, that's that's the purview of the classy. Yashka Nerv, Elo said. Safe at the gas station. Very good. You know what your friend had on his body? He had this. I found it. I found it in his pocket. You know what I think it is? I think it's tasty. I think you should give it a try. I feel better now. Okay. All right. Moving on. What have you got? Ammunition. And a Walter P99. I will take that. And more stash information. Also good. I will have that. And that. And, ooh, you've also got a Walter. I will take that as well. And let's see if this guy over here wants to buy any of it. Hey, buddy. Dude, quit freaking out. You better be more careful here. The bad guys are hiding out in the main building. Not no more, they're not. In one word, they're jackals. No conscience, no mercy. They would have killed everyone off. You mean like I did? Let's see here. Can you tell me something interesting? Well, I'm not really up to date on all the latest news. Okay, he's got 5,000 rubles. That's good enough for me. I will take your medical supplies and sell you all of the pistols. Thank you, sir. Or danke. Or whatever. That what, dude, why did you have a gun in my face that whole time? You do not want my trigger finger to get itchy. You really don't. I promise you this. You really, really don't. Alright, well. That was a bit short. But I think that'll actually make for a pretty good place to leave this episode. Because, like I said, there are several things to do here in the Dark Valley, but all of them are fairly lengthy in nature, and I would like to keep them self-contained to their own episodes. So, for now, thank you all for joining me for this episode of Let's Play Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. I am Mr. Black, here at Last Little Press, and as always, I wish you all good gaming. Godspeed.